Hello, everybody. Welcome to your daily reading for March 23rd, 2021. I do apologize if this, this is not my normal daily reading with all signs. This is for the collective. Today has been one of my bad days where I was in pain pretty much most of the day. I can't sit at my desk very long. So until we figure out what's causing my pain with the doctor, um, there are theories about fibromyalgia. There's also theories of vitamin D deficiency. Uh, a few different things floating around. The doctor's got to run the blood work and all kinds of stuff for. But until we get that figured out, um, I'm pro you are going to find some days where I am going to just do a collective reading. When I feel good, I will do the full thing. Okay? Anyhow... <clears throat> Uh, I appreciate it if you do give me a thumbs up. You subscribe, share, and comment. Um, hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos and when I have the shout-outs to my winners for my giveaways. Okay? And this reading um, may or may not be for you. Just keep that in mind as well. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Timing is fluid. Okay. And. What else? Um, I know I'm missing something. Oh, this could be your energy or somebody else's energy. Okay. Anyhow, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for the collective. Clarity. Messages, guidance for the collective. Clarity, messages, guidance, please, for the collective. Okay, so far we do have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. <clears throat> we got three reverse cards. We have the Palace of Cups in the reverse. Oh, there's somebody who is um downright pissed right now. I will say that. We have the Chariot in the reverse. Cancerian energy. So we have <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer. And we have the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> we have the King of Swords. We have the King and Queen on the board, but the Queen is downright pissed. I'll say that. What did this King do? And we have the Three of Coins. Ooh, okay, he probably cheated. Okay. And we have <clears throat> Ace of Coins and Three of Swords. Wow. <clears throat> Talk about energies. We have the King of Cups. Five of Cups. Queen of Cups. We now have the Queen and King of Cups on the board. We have two true matches here. And we have the Four of Swords. Under the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. So what I am feeling here is this Queen of Swords is really pissed off because she feels like she's been stabbed in the back multiple times. She may be extremely emotional. She uh, There's a lot of jealousy, a lot of spite, a lot of bitterness here. With this palace in the reverse, you know, it's like emotions are just in an uproar. They're just out of control. They are crazy, okay, over some sort of betrayal or feeling like, 
you know, being stabbed in the back, right? And the chariot in the reverse, she's like putting the screeching halt on. She's putting the brakes on this connection. She's like, oh, hell no. You ain't going to keep on going and getting away with this. Nope. So, you know, she's putting the screeching or scree the brakes on this connection because of this betrayal. She is really in bitch mode, big time, and she's pissed, okay? This king of swords here is, you know, I feel as though that, you know, he is feeling hurt right now because, you know, I, I feel like with two threes here, there was third party. He definitely had a third party here, okay? I feel like the, the betrayal may involve some cheating here. Um, you know, he may even have gotten somebody pregnant. Just saying, that's just something that came out that's not for everybody. He may, he may have planted his seed in someone. But... But there's definitely this connection has that it kind of had grown cold. And I think that that might be why this king kind of went um, adventuring off with to some side pieces. Extracurricular activity, so to speak. And it caused a lot of pain for this queen of swords. Okay. She shut down. Her emotions are running crazy. But... Which is causing her, I mean, she's she's mad. She's really mad. You know, because he's been cooperating with somebody else and it caused her a lot of pain. But moving forward, we see the king and queen of cups. Now, this could be the same couple. Because here we have the five of cups. Somebody being very remorseful. Somebody being very regretful. So that king of swords may turn on the charm. Okay, he may, you know, soften it up and realize what he has done. And there is definitely remorse here. You know, and this queen is looking at that four of swords, you know, and, you know, she's a little bit more patient. She's trusting her intuition. Um, I think that she is taking some time out to rest a little bit. Um, she's trying to find that sense of balance. Within this, right? And we have the Knight of... Uh, she may even have somebody else coming towards her. So she's kind of trusting her intuition. She's putting the brakes on... She put the brakes on things. And she's still not moving forward with that King of Cups. Because here comes the King of Coins. Rushing into her life. That is going to cause one freaking tower moment. Let me tell you. Okay. Emotions are going to run high. This king is going to have this tower moment. He's going to find that, let's just say, the table's turned. The tables are turned on this king. Absolutely. Okay, let's get, let's clarify here. Okay, we have the magician with the queen of swords reversed. You know, she is in the mode of, she's she's the puppet keeper now. You know, she is the one that is calling the shots. She's the one that is in control. She's the master because she's in bitch mode. And she's like, she's definitely playing the manipulation card. Just saying. You have to decide also in this story which one are you. Are you the other woman? Are you the are you the Queen of Swords reverse? Are you the King of Swords? Or are you the King of Pentacles coming in? If you're the King of Pentacles coming in, you're coming into a storm. Just saying. Anyhow, yeah, that, that Queen of that Queen of Swords, she is definitely um, in, um she's definitely very much the master of her of her life right now. She made the decision. She took action and put a stop to the this connection. She's like, it's over. And my son is laughing upstairs with his buddies on a game, just so you know. I wish I would have been able to do this earlier, but... Okay, we have the Ten of Wands to the Palace of... Um, palaces are is the environment which somebody is in. Somebody's in an extremely emotional environment that is like very weighing them down. Their emotions weighing that was weighing them down. And with the full card, um, 
You know, this is about, you know, there's weighing them down, but somebody's dropping those burdens and going off in a new direction. So this queen made the decision, okay, I'm done. I'm going on with my life and I'm finding somebody new. Tell me about the chariot reverse, please. Tell me about the chariot reversed. We have the nine of wands. And the Ten of Swords, please tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. There we go. There's that King of Coins. Okay. So what we have here is... We have somebody. This King of Coins may have made his entrance. Now the King could be a male or female. This could be somebody totally different than what's coming into this queen's life, okay? But this is somebody who is stable, loyal, secure. And I feel as though that this is the energy that this king of swords had prior to the third party, okay? And then something kind of went cold in the relationship and he and the king of swords strayed. It's what I'm getting here. So this queen feels very, feels very betrayed, feels... She almost feels like a fool. That's it. She feels like a fool because she thought that this king was about family. This king was loyal, stable. For him to turn around and it's like, how dare you? You know? Um, two of Cups, yeah. She, she thought this was a true match. And then, bam. He goes off in another direction with a third party. And she is like, okay, I am walking away from this. I'm walking away. Okay, Spirit, tell me about this King of Swords, please. Tell me about the King of Swords. Okay, we have... The Wheel of Fortune. You know, this This is death. It's almost like this King and Queen of Swords were destined to be together. There may be a coming back, but there's also going to be a, a wrench, a monkey wrench thrown into the mix when somebody else comes into the picture. Okay. Tell me about this um, three of coins, please. And I think that King of Swords was dealing with a karmic, with the person that he, his mistress. Page of Wands. We have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. And we have the Hermit. So what I'm feeling go, that is current, where the current situation is is that the wheel is turning, somebody is evolving, somebody is definitely taking an opportunity and moving away from a third party. There might be, me there's been, there's, there still might be some messages going back and forth between the king of swords and the mistress because this page of wands is also representing a new path. Also, it's somebody who is trying to use passion and uh, I'm looking, the energy that I'm getting is Someone else who takes pride in taking somebody else's man. Just I'm just going to say it plain and simple. But there's still some communication going on there. But that is about to end. Okay. With this death card, this is something ending. And somebody really going within and thinking about what has done, what they have done. And when they go within... Because they're they're gonna end this with this with their karmic. That's going to come to an end. Okay? And this king is gonna really soften up and realize that that he he lost his queen. He's gonna be very remorseful here. And that comes from him isolating himself, being alone for a while, and him coming to this realization where his heart really lies. Three of Wands with a King of Cups. Yes. He's making plans. He's like waiting patiently for the right moment. Because he knows that that queen was pissed. And he doesn't. he's waiting for the right moment to approach her. Okay. 
The moon card with the five of cups. Yes, he really, you know, he's being quiet about his remorse right now. But he's, because he's waiting patiently for the right moment to approach his queen. Because I feel like she's not talking. She's got his back to him. And she has no interest in communicating right now. And he's kind of like waiting and waiting for a sign. The moon card is something mysterious. It's secret. It's secretly being remorseful and regretful. So I do feel that this king definitely is regretful for his actions. And he's waiting for the right time. He doesn't know if she's found somebody else yet or not. Um, we have the devil card with his queen of cups. You know, they're, it's like she may be feeling like It's like she may be she may have been feeling caged in, okay? Um she sees him as a narcissist right now, okay? And she has this very negative attitude towards this king. So it's not coming to back together yet, but it almost feels like destiny that it's supposed to. Um but that queen, it's going to take her some time to heal from this. It's like she's Es try, tr escaping something, but there's so, there's another temptation coming up here. Palace of Wands is passion with. Oh, here's the Queen of Swords. What was this over here? I misread that. Oh, Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, that was a Knight of Swords reversed. That's okay. It's still kind of the same energy. Somebody was manipulative, caused a lot of pain. But this Queen of Swords, you know, she is still there. She's bitter. I think she's gotten over. Um, she's about fairness and balance. But I think she wants karma to be served. She's still about her karma. She sees the harm. She sees everything this person has caused. All the damage this person has caused. And, you know, she knows that she is the empress. She is very fine on her own. Okay. She may, ha she has some love, but she's, but the empress can also, you know, be stern. You know, you have to approach an empress in the right place. The king knows that this is his empress, but she is definitely still being very cold. Okay. She's trusting her intuition right now. She's being silent. Because she is still healing from this. Um, but I feel as though that king definitely wants to put to work. And he wants to rush in and start over again. But um, in all honesty, that ex could be left out in the cold. Like I said, the tables could be turned. She could be very defensive and saying, nope, you're not coming near me. And being very caught up in her head. Very intellectual. To matter of fact, basically... Okay, buddy, here's the facts. This is what you did. And, and now you want to come and apologize. Now you want to come and say you're sorry. Um, you know, I've met somebody else. Because I have this new passion at the beginning. I'm talking to somebody else who is proven to be stable and secure. Okay? I have a new opportunity here. For stability. That they're willing to even give and take here. You know, so I would say that the tables could be turned on this person. Okay, let's get some oracles. And when, you know, that king, that king might believe the queen is his destiny. Um, I just want to Put that out there also. And maybe why the devil card came up. Some kind of uh, being obsessed. He may now be obsessed with that queen. Of trying to get her back. Okay. We do have chemistry. So there's still chemistry between these two. Okay. There is a sense of chemistry. Um, this was a higher level of commitment that somebody retreated from wedding. Yeah, there's probably a marriage. 
Um, and I feel like somebody learned a lesson from this and there's somebody and the universe is saying, okay, son, forgive and move on. Learn from the lessons, right? And, you know, and I feel as though that that queen is definitely in the space of trying to get to know someone else that has potential for a higher level of commitment. So if you are the king, I am so sorry here, right? But, you know, you screwed up. Way too many cards, but let's just see what we got. They all wanted to fall out. This one was away. Away from it all. Walking away. So somebody definitely walked away in order to heal, rejuvenate themselves. They are tired of dealing with the hostilities. They are looking for balance. And the door to personal healing and happiness is open. And, you know, they may be in, and somebody's entering a new contract, a new commitment. So I think the king I think the king has lost a little too late. Damage has been done and that queen is moving on. Okay, that's what I have for you everybody. Bye.